Tracy from Berries Express. Today I'm excited to bring another great video to you. If you like it, please don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up or subscribe to our channel and support us and never miss a video from us again. The most popular page on our Bearings Express website is actually a buying guide that I put together years ago to explain how to work out which bearings you need for your trailer. It gets over 500 hits a month. I'll put a link in the description below. always common knowledge to know which bearing kit will fit your trailer. So, because you have some wheels jacked up, I'll make this super quick for you. Here is my disclaimer though. Ultimately, the best way to know what bearings you need is to get the bearing numbers from the bearings themselves. From the cup and the cone. You simply can't go wrong that way. This isn't always doable though. Verniers to get the size in, awesome. But again, not always doable for everybody. Not everyone has a set of verniers on hand. Anyhow, here's a really neat trick that will work for most of you out there. But stick around, because there are some pitfalls to be aware of, and this neat little trick won't work for everyone. So, the general rule of thumb, and don't forget to give the thumbs up. If your outer bearing fits over your thumb, then you have a forward, you generally will have a forward bearing. If, on the other hand, it doesn't fit over your thumb, you're likely to have a holding bearing. And if it doesn't fit over my thumb, it's not gonna fit over yours. So if you have a wheel bearing job that has to be done now, chow for now but please be sure that the thumb method is not foolproof. So be sure to come back for part two.